Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra just got a certification and you guys will be surprised to see that we are going to get a 5 years old tech in Galaxy S23 Ultra. On 22nd September, Galaxy S23 Ultra got a 3C certification in China with the model number SM9180 as the Galaxy S23 Ultra. We didn't get much from certification but one thing that catches the attention is its new charging speed. Surprisingly, Samsung is going to use the same 25 watt of fast charger for upcoming Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, even less than the last year Galaxy S22 Ultra. But if we compare Galaxy S22 Ultra 45 watt of fast charger and 25 watt of fast charger, there's not much a big difference. Even in some cases, Galaxy S22 Ultra 25 watt water fast charger works better than the 45 water fast charger and that could be the reason that Samsung take a decision to use a 5 years old tech in the Galaxy S23 Ultra which is started from Galaxy S10 back in 2019 and luckily this won't affect much and your battery life will run longer than the Galaxy S22 Ultra and an honorable mention Galaxy Z Fold 4 comes with the same 25 watt fast charger but it was charged within just one hour thanks to new charging algorithm from Samsung this means we might get a new charging algorithm instead of big charges the charging speed is slow but don't get yourself slow by not subscribing to this channel Last year, Galaxy S22 Ultra was good enough with the charging speeds, where in the testing, the Galaxy S22 Ultra charged 0-100% to in just 98 minutes or 1 hour and 38 minutes, and charged to 50% in 43 minutes. But the only downside of Galaxy S22 Ultra was its battery, where it charges slow and then again the battery drain was so bad. But Samsung find a solution for this Galaxy S23 Ultra. Battery is going to increase on the Galaxy S23 Ultra and S23 base model. A 5% increase in the battery of Galaxy S23 Ultra. As per previous rumors, Galaxy S23 Ultra will be slightly thicker, which means we are getting the bigger battery in the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And this is only happens because of new stacking technology Samsung will going to use for Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. So they can put a bigger battery in the same size as S22 Ultra. Some rumors were suggesting we are getting the same 5000 million power battery but this will not going to happen probably 5500 million power will be a good number on the galaxy s23 ultra there's a speculation in the Samsung internal affairs where Samsung's higher officials want the Exynos 2300 in the Galaxy S23 Ultra. But Samsung MX mobile experience department is not satisfied by the Exynos 2300. So we are seeing some clash where this could be a good time to hope for Snapdragon Gen 2 in the Galaxy S23 Ultra complete lineup. Where Qualcomm already confirmed Galaxy S23 Ultra will only power Snapdragon Gen 2. What you should expect a great performance out of Galaxy S23 Ultra? There could be two reasons. First, the Snapdragon Gen 2 will come out with the big numbers, 3.5 GHz peak number. And some rumors claim that the Snapdragon Gen 2 new GPU will beat A16 Bionic chipset, which means this thing is really powerful. And second, the new UFS 4.0, which will be the next standard for smartphone industry, which is twice as fast as the UFS 3.1. The new 200 megapixel is coming to Galaxy S23 Ultra. But what more interesting is every Chinese phone is in a race to get a 200 megapixel camera for flagship smartphones. But Samsung will come out with a new sensor which will be dedicated to Galaxy S23 Ultra, the ISO cell HP2. But other cameras including ultra-wide, telephoto and periscope will remain the same. As per certification, Samsung is on the track to launch the Galaxy S23 Ultra on time. We are going to get the S23 Ultra in Feb next year along with the S23 and the Galaxy S23 Plus. If you want to know how Galaxy S23 Ultra will be faster than the iPhone 14 Pro Max, then you can check this video. I'll see you next time. Till then, peace out.